Celebrate Independence Day with a red, white, and blue fish at the Florida Aquarium. <laughs> Here with the details are Carrie Getz and Eric Hovland. Welcome back, you guys. Good How morning. are you? Thanks for having Fantastic. us. Okay, Doing good. Two of our favorite guests. Love when you're here. <laughs> but I'm not going to lie, we got some showstoppers right here in this yeah. new exhibit. So mm -hmm. before we get to the red, white, and uh, blue fish celebration, mm -hmm. let's talk jellies. Right. It's all over my social networking right now. It is, it is. So we were happy to open at the beginning of June Moon Bay, which is the uh, only the fourth touch uh, opportunity with moon jellies in North America. So these are our moon jellies with us. We, we are both comfortable with being completely shown up by brainless uh, prehistoric creatures who are I absolutely can gorgeous. I them. <laughs> okay, and I was, sorry, that almost went, went by me there. We're going to have you, like, we're going to try to grab a shot of that real fast so that you can see what we're talking about at home if you haven't been able to see the exhibit yet. Mm -hmm. Moon jellies, which everyone is now talking, not jellyfish, right. which is a big thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, they aren't typically, they're truly fish. They have no vertebrae. They don't even really have brains. They have a neural net, but they are 100% animals and about 90% water. And what I'm learning too, we've got them in water, but you got to get them back to ice. Their That's water right. is chilled as well. These jellies are chilling right now. They're in about 50, 55 degree water. That'd be an awfully chilly bath, but oh, it's yeah. the right temperature for these moon jellies. And these are just young moon jellies. They're still growing. No kidding. That's right. We were talking because a lot of people, again, are talking about this exhibit. Where do the jellies come from? <laughs> when a mommy jelly loves a daddy, daddy jelly, jelly and have a special? is one way they reproduce. But when a mommy jelly can't find a daddy jelly, they can basically clone themselves. We have biologists, senior biologists and biologists behind the scenes that are reproducing jellies on a scale you would not imagine. Not just to provide jellies for our own habitat, our moon bay, but also distributed around the country to other jelly systems really around the whole country that are growing jellies from a tiny little brown snowflake called Nephira all the way up to their full size about dinner plate sized. Because I wonder to have as many as you do in the exhibit how you were able to get them and then have this wonderful exhibit. I'm really good at making jellies. So it was yeah it was time for us to think about some innovation and to do some new things and to offer new things to the Tampa Bay area and we thought well what are we really good at? We're really good at moon jellies. Yes. What do people not get to do very often? Touch, touch. Yeah, touch a moon jelly. Touch a jelly first. Yeah, exactly. And so we put this together, and Moon Bay is the complete innovation and reimagination of the entrance. You can't miss this. Oh, when you walk in, it's right there. There's a huge three-foot sphere full of jellies, which is only the... Third in the country. Very cool. Very cool, guys. It's really well, and too, I, I do want to, I don't want to take us down too much of a serious note, but not yep. to be confused with some of the damage that can be done. Explain what else you brought here. Keyword confused. Mm -hmm. to, to, to take right off from that, it's very easy to confuse plastic waste Which floating around in the water. Mm -hmm. You and I might even make the mistake of thinking, was that a jelly? Now imagine you're a turtle and you're just out hunting for food like jellies. And a lot of our wild marine turtles do eat jellies. But when a plastic bag like this, and I want to point this one out in particular, the most realistic looking of the plastic bag jellies is a cookie wrapper. I found that myself when I was just looking for a piece of plastic. Where's a piece of plastic when you need one? Well, it was blowing around the parking lot. This particular wrapper I picked up and it was a cookie wrapper. And that particularly gets to me because I'm thinking that person walked out of the store, took that cookie out of their hand and ate it before that bag had a chance to protect them from anything. Yeah. You don't get a cookie from mom in a bag. Yeah. So that's one of those things you could do in addition to skipping the straw, skip that unnecessary plastic bag. It was drifting across the lot. Just eat the cookie. Eat the cookie. <laughs> you know, enjoy eat life. The cookie. Help Skip the a bag. jellies. Help a turtle. Eat the cookie. Yes. Help a turtle. You know what? Of course, we do want to talk to red, white, and blue. I feel yes. like we're talking about so many events, and you've got another fun one as well. Well, we so. want to. We have to thank Mayor Castor for deciding that Boom on the Bay was going to be her signature <laughs> event. And so when that got announced, Great. we got super excited because there'll of course be four locations for fireworks. The final one is literally right at the Florida Aquarium. It will be right there in the turnaround basin by the port. And so we're going to have Fish of July. Uh, we'll have special extended hours, the opportunity to come in. You're going to get the best view anywhere. Um, and then there's also a VIP package. What does VIP mean for our Fish of July? Well, it means air conditioning. So we all actually have air conditioned viewing, which yeah, I don't know who else is going to be able to offer that. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> right there, right there is the best. Yep. Guys, it is always such a treat when Thank the both you. of you are here. It's and so please come here. back and see us. Okay? Absolutely. You know, Moon jellies or not. Come yes. touch them. Two fingers. Yes.